Today I'm going to talk about the Apple Vision Pro from the standpoint of a software engineer. The question is, will the Vision Pro make you a 10x software engineer? Well, before we get into that, you should understand my point of comparison. So here's my current desktop setup. I've got two 4K plus monitors. They're both 4K, but with 400 extra vertical pixels. Great for coding. I've got a MacBook Pro M2 Max with 96 gigs of memory. I've got a gaming PC stashed under my desk, and my desk is big enough to put with some extra gadgets as well. So the reason I'm showing you this is to emphasize one thing. This is my dream setup, and I can't imagine having a better physical setup for programming. And this is why I was a little bit skeptical that the Vision Pro would really be worth it as a programmer, but I had to see for myself. So I'm gonna improvise a little bit. I'm using three different cameras, the one you see, that one back there, and then I'm gonna use the Vision Pro. I'm gonna capture what I see on there as well. Here's what it looks like from my perspective, right? I could see my monitors and right here, I can see the code, but so first of all, the pass through, it's decent, but it's not that great. I noticed that for me, if I take off my headset, this text is fairly, it's not large, but it's, it's a decent size. If I put on my headset, it starts to get a little blurry. It's readable, but it's still kind of blurry. And if I move my head around, there's some motion blur, which makes it difficult to read text. So if you're going to use the pass through view to read code, you got to make sure your head is really stable so that there's no motion blur. But for the most part, you're not gonna use the passive view, you're gonna use the virtual display. So here at my control panel, I just go to Mac virtual display, Ryan's MacBook, give it a second to connect. And boom, there we go. Now we got a big old virtual display. Now, if you notice my two monitors here are, uh, they're, they went completely black. So now I can't even use these. So this is one thing, it's like, I have this dope <laughs> two monitor setup and it's pretty much useless as soon as I put on the Vision Pro. Now I have one virtual desktop. It looks like I'm not looking at anything, but inside the headset, I've got this virtual display here that I can move around, I can push it back. So when you push things back, they get bigger. When you pull them forward, they get smaller. Uh, there's a technique to this where you could sort of like, you can sort of make things smaller by putting your head closer to the screen. It's like a little hack. Typically what I would do is I would take my monitor, sort of put it back here a little bit. And what's interesting is even though it's in back of my physical monitor, it almost, sometimes your eyes can get a little confused because that monitor is back there, but then this thing is right here. And it's like your eye, your brain is just not making sense of things. So what you could do is on the knob here, I can bring in the virtual environment just enough that I can still see my surroundings, but now it kind of blurs out whatever is in front of me. And this makes it a little easier to focus. Typically what I would do is I'd have my monitor right here, got some code. Okay, so here I have ChatGPT open and usually what I would wanna do is kind of have that small right here on my desk. So I'm gonna do the little head trick. Okay, cool, and now it's there on my desk and it's small, it's almost like a little monitor just sitting right here on my desk. Then I would go to my apps and I would open up Safari, maybe have some documentation up here. I don't wanna put it on the side because the thing is with this 16.9 display, it's kind of wide and if I put something on the side, uh, I'm just not a big fan of breaking my neck to <laughs> you know, see whatever's on the side right there. So typically I'll put this on the top. And that way, when I want to look at some documentation, I just look up. So right now, there aren't a lot of Vision OS apps out there, but you can do just about everything you want to do in Safari. So I can have multiple windows open right here. Then for task management, you might have Trello. It's nice because I have two little monitors here, so to speak, that are not in the way of my code. And so I can quickly switch contexts. Then I could look up, see my documentation, look on the side, check out some YouTube videos. Okay, so here I decided to load up a real project I've worked on. This is the typical workflow where you have some code on the left, got your website on the right, and then anytime you update your code, it's reflected on the page, right? Uh, the thing is, with the Vision Pro, you don't have to limit yourself to this one desktop. We can pull this out into its own virtual window, right? So let's try to do that. I'm gonna take my YouTube, maybe pull it down here. 
Not gonna lie, because I can't see my hands and my keyboard, it's a little tough to actually navigate, so I'm gonna kind of bring that in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy localhost here and then try to run it on Safari here, and it's gonna automatically paste it. See how it says Safari pasted from Ryan's MacBook Pro? That's what's really beautiful about this is how your MacBook and your Vision Pro are gonna seamlessly integrate in some ways because of the handoff that Apple implemented. So if I try to load that up, it's not gonna work because the Vision Pro is a different device. It's a standalone device, right? Local host on the Vision Pro is not the same as local host on your Mac. So what I have to do is get my local IP address there, 192.168, blah, blah, blah. And now I can load up the site and I can close this on my Mac. Go ahead and test this and see if the refresh works. Okay, here, I'm gonna say this is awesome. And then boom, it updated, blah, blah, blah. And then boom, updated. So now we can do development on our Mac and then have it automatically update on the virtual uh, Safari window in the Vision Pro. One thing I wish is that I could change the aspect ratio of the Mac display because I'm kind of used to having the sort of taller display and it's kind of narrower so I don't have to break my neck every time I want to look out to the side. Instead, what I might end up doing is just sort of shoving that to the side there and then moving my display like that. But that's kind of wonky though, right? It's kind of, that's the only gripe I really have with this experience is that the 16.9 display is actually not necessary when you can have multiple virtual displays. It's much nicer to have these narrower sort of displays. Even for Trello right here, I could change it like that uh, so that it takes up less space. Okay, now I'm in Vision Pro Inception where I'm in the Vision Pro and I could see myself on the outside of the Vision Pro. That's pretty cool. All right, folks, that's about it. But last thing I wanna talk about is comfort, which is not really a technical thing, but it's a usability thing. Um, right now, I've been recording for 27 minutes and my face is already hurting a little bit. I noticed that like when I first started using the Vision Pro, I could use it for hours, but now, I don't know, my face is becoming fatigued by it. And what happens is that, you know, this top strap helps to reduce the downward force. So that's good. It's not pushing down on your nose too much, but it's sort of pushing down on your cheeks. It seems like no matter how I adjust this thing, it still manages to, you know, be a little bit painful. And uh, so that's the only thing I would say. If you intend to use it for hours upon hours at a time, some people are saying they're comfortable. A lot of people are saying they're not comfortable. So it's something to kind of be weary of. Right now, I don't consider my Vision Pro to be my primary like development environment. Having all the virtual windows is great. The thing is, my home office setup is already comfortable. I don't need to wear anything on my face. Um, I don't really feel the need to have a bunch of windows open at a given time. I'm kind of a minimalist. If anything, I only want to see one thing at a time because that helps me to focus. Um, so I don't know. I think all of this is cool in concept. Uh, but for me, my Vision Pro is more something that I use for fun as opposed to something I use for productivity. But that's just me. I would say for folks who don't have a, you know, a dual monitor set up with a big old desk and all that. If you have a smaller working environment, the Vision Pro is great because now you have this infinite space of virtual apps and whatnot running. Whether your productivity increases because of the Vision Pro entirely depends on what your non-Vision Pro setup is like. For some people, it'll be a major upgrade and for other people, all right, I'm going to go ahead and take this off now might mess up your hair a little bit. Hope that was insightful. It showed you what it's like to be inside of the Vision Pro and how silly it looks to be outside of it as well. Um, let me know what questions or concerns you might have in the comments below and I'll try to address them in a later video. I have been doing some Vision Pro development as in developing apps for the Vision Pro because that's kind of the main reason I got the thing and it's a pretty sweet experience. That's something I'm gonna talk about a little bit later. But as usual, it's Ryan here. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, support a little YouTuber like myself, and thank you for watching.